Hi, welcome back. We have a new world record, I think. Uh, certainly a new personal best. Uh, I've made some changes from the previous run I was doing um, to try and increase my damage. So first I'll show you the old version of the build. So we have the old setup here. This was when I was still experimenting with how critical damage on fire attacks works. So I thought I needed a fire build. All right, and here is the new build. In the new build, we've switched from fire to poison. And we've done that to help maximize our damage. A lot of this stuff is identical. Uh, the big changes are the torso, where we've replaced all damage with poison damage. The waist, uh, where we have switched to a poison damage item from the 50% crit damage item we were using before. This maximizes our damage and gives us space to move 100% all damage types from the boots to the waist. And then for the boots, we're using damage on Spartan soldiers instead of fire damage, and we're using damage while in contact with water. We're not sure if damage on Spartan soldiers actually works, but we're assuming that it does for the purposes of this particular run. Um, another thing that we learned is that critical damage with fire attacks can be triggered prematurely by switching from fire to poison. So if I check my detailed stats, I've got 425 crit damage, 875 crit damage while full health. If I activate fire and then immediately activate poison and then check my stats again, they'll have gone up by 200%. We've got 625 and 1075. So that helps us get that critical damage rolling a little bit faster, which can shorten the time between runs. Um, and since this critical damage is sheet critical damage, it applies to everything, so it works for our poison damage attack. For our mastery points and abilities, um, really just using slow time, battle cry, poison, and fire. We've got poison mastery and fire mastery maxed out. Um, I have the rest of these just because I didn't feel like resetting these, and this is the way I normally roll is with all of this stuff included. Uh, I did reset my mastery points. Most of these are things that I only added points to for the world record uh, chase. Uh, some of them are things that I applied points to just to make setting up things a little bit easier, um, like damage with spears. Totally doesn't matter for this. That was only something I was using in my clearing the fort uh, initial setup. Um, so we have Hunter Damage, which does affect the run. We have Crit Chance and Crit Damage, which does affect the run. Nothing else in Hunter. For Warrior, we have Warrior Damage, which helps just a little bit. We have Damage with Overpower Abilities, which we think is basically all damage when you're using an Overpower Attack. Uh, we're using damage on Spartan or Athenian Soldiers, whichever you need. Uh, also thinking that this is basically all damage that applies to attacks on those types of soldiers. Not sure if this also includes pull marks, but maybe it does. Um, we've got fire damage from our old fire damage build. That's not necessary for the poison damage build. That's just a carryover. We've got armor penetration, which at least I think helps with the warrior damage component of the hit. Uh, we've got damage per enemy engaged, which is a bit of a wild card. We'll expand on that in a minute. Uh, we've got damage with warrior abilities, which might help. Uh, we've got damage with time to slow down. We've got assassin damage. I have swords and daggers here because I was switching between the two weapon types depending on which one was the kind, had the stats that I needed for the run I was doing at the time. Um, you can just stick to whichever one you need. Uh, I have crit chance and damage while full health. Damage while full health. Poison damage for the poison run damage on elites and bosses, the proc that makes it all happen, and damage while attacking from behind. And then on the off chance that it has any effect, I don't think it does, but on the off chance, we've got damage with assassin abilities. So damage per enemy engaged. No idea if this actually affects anything at all, but on the off chance it does, I figured why not knock everyone in the fort out, um, except for, for that guy over there who is constantly respawning. Um, why not knock everyone in the fort out and then drop a couple of them right on top of the pull mark So, you know, if the game considers this enemies that I've engaged, uh, so much the better. Just a little bit of extra damage. Who knows if that actually works or not. Um, and that route I just run, ran is the run. 
Um, I pick up this oil jar here and I hug these reeds to make sure that I am not spotted by the guy to the right. And then I can just run over here and I can complete the run. So I'll activate fire and slow time and battle cry and then poison to trigger that crit damage. And then we'll get a hit. Uh, we got a 99 million non-proc crit there. So that's not bad. Um, so here is the, the world record run. All right, let's get to the run. We start up on the cliff. We take this clean line straight down. And we're going to grab this oil jar here, and we're going to hug the reeds to the left so that we don't get spotted by the guy off to the right. And we've got the polemark set up in the water, and we're going to use a technique where we end the fire damage prematurely by activating poison damage, as well as using slow time and battle cry to maximize our damage. And then we get the 1.864 billion damage hit.